Meta continues making moves in the AI space, announcing two big steps as it develops tech infrastructure across the country. The company said Wednesday they will be opening a $10 billion AI data center in northeastern Louisiana to power AI products like search assistants or image generators. Companies like Meta need massive facilities to house servers and computers that keep their AI services running. And to power those AI advances, Meta is going nuclear and inviting developers to send in their proposals. Tech companies are looking for space for new, larger AI data centers. Elon Musk's XAI is also expanding its supercomputer project in Memphis, Tennessee, according to the city's Chamber of Commerce. In Louisiana, Governor Jeff Landry celebrated Meta putting its largest AI data center yet, calling it game-changing. And with AI set to potentially put a strain on energy infrastructure, companies are turning to the renewable but pricey nuclear option. Amazon ran into issues this year when it bought a Pennsylvania data center from energy company Talon Energy, looking to power it with Talon's nuclear plant next to the center. The Federal Energy Regulatory Commission rejected the proposal, worrying most about the effects it could have on energy prices and the reliability of the electric grid. Microsoft reached an agreement earlier this year to revive the Three Mile Island nuclear plant with plant owner Constellation Energy, planning to bring it back online in 2028. OpenAI has also signaled it's looking to move forward with a massive data center expansion plan. In September, CEO Sam Altman pitched the White House on a plan that would build data centers that each require the same amount of energy as a major city. And while nuclear energy is a renewable resource, Meta is in the earliest stages of it. Their announcement this week invited companies to send in their proposals. In the meantime, Meta's Louisiana plant announcement is raising concerns from environmental groups who worry the plant is too reliant on fossil fuels and that plans to help power it through natural gas could lead to higher energy prices for local residents. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Jack Almer. To get all your latest updates on this and other stories, download the Straight Arrow News app today.